Hello, this is Jim and Claire with DC Digital, and we're demonstrating today a DC 40 UTW key system W. In the system W, as you can see, we have three timers, clocks, multi function, multi use clocks up here, and they're all on 1201. The two to the right are the secondaries and the one to the left is a master and this is a system they're going to be using for council chamber timers and uh, timing speeches or uh, talks of whatnot and uh, they are going to be in conjunction with the keypad that Claire's holding up you see over there to the left and she's going to be demonstrating how to use the keypad to set up the timers and the clocks and whatnot. 900 megahertz radio transmits out to the master and then the master trans out to, transmits out to the two secondaries. Everything is within 1500 feet. You can add as many secondaries as you like. What we have is called a store and forward system and you can go infinity with them as long as they're within 1500 feet. Now that's outdoor range. We do, we do stipulate a 350 uh, feet, 350 feet range indoor because of walls and obstructions and whatnot. But I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention, these are four inch LEDs in an all aluminum extruded enclosure and 120 volt wall adapters with a six foot cord. Each one needs 120. So I'm gonna go ahead and introduce Claire and have her uh, take us through the um, keypad and show us a little bit more about how that functions. Yes, thank you. So I'll just bring you closer for a closer look at the keypad here. Okay. So we have um, all these buttons on the keypad. Our clock button here, it operates 12 and 24 hour time. We have our up timer here, our down timer, the blank display button, the quiet mode button, the flash buzzer and none button, which just sets what happens when um, a timer is finished. Then we also have the set value and enter button here, the reset button, and the start and stop button. And then these are just our numerical buttons. Okay. So. Very good. Thank you. No problem. I'll just bring it back here and explain more about them. So when you first get your um, new system, you might want to uh, start by setting the time on our clock button. So you can hit the clock 12 and 24 hour button there and it operates in military time and just the regular 12 hour clock time as well. So if you wanted to set your clock, you would hit the set value and enter button and then put in whatever time it is at. So we'll just say that it's, uh, we'll just say that it's uh, one o'clock or 105. And then you would hit um, enter button to enter that value. And as you see, it's 105 on this time, but if you wanted to show it in uh, and then 12 hour format. Yes. Yeah. So this is 12 hour format and then this would be the 24 hour format. Right. So that is how you would set the clock. And then if you wanted to go from there, you could set an up timer or a down timer. We can just start with an up timer. So we'd hit up timer. And then here you can see because of this um, dot in the uh, upper left hand corner, we know that it's in up timer mode. And mm -hmm. then if you went down here, the decimal point, sorry, because of the decimal in the lower right hand corner, that way you know it is in down timer. Right. So we'll go back up to up timer. Now, if you just wanted to do the up timer without a threshold, and I know we haven't discussed the threshold mm -hmm. yet, you would just hit start right now, right? Yes, that's correct. So this will just uh, count up if you don't it, want it to. To 99 hours, right? Yes, yes, so. to um, a really high value. So if you just wanted it to, um, just, just count up and then say, uh, like you're, you're practicing a speech for yourself and you want to know how long it takes you, but you don't have like a time limit, then you would just hit stop and you would say, oh, it took me 23 seconds to do that or to say that. Mm -hmm. So yes, before setting, but you can also set it for a threshold value. So if you wanted to, you could, you would hit, um, you gotta hit reset, right? Yes. You would hit reset, which will just bring it back to zero. And then you would hit set value. And when it's flashing, that means it's ready for you to put in a um, So if they a had value. a council, they had a talk, some people are coming in and they have 
person after person giving their opinion or whatnot, yes. we would put in a value to show that, hey, we've reached this threshold value and, you know, we'll let you go a little bit further, but, you know, to right. get your point, but we need to move on. And that would give them that indication. So go ahead. I apologize for cutting in there. No, no, right. Yeah. Say that you just wanted really short feedback. So we're just going to put in 10 seconds for each person to talk. So if you, you put in your value and then you would hit this button again to enter it and then they would start talking and we would start our timer and then at 10 seconds, the, uh, the default mode for the up timer is going to be for it to flash when it gets to the value. So as we can see, it's been 10 seconds, but this person's talking a little bit longer. So we'll stop. They went six seconds over mm -hmm. and that way you can, um, you can kind of keep track of that value, but you also know that you've gone past your time. Um, so then if you wanted to uh, go into the down timer, say this one, I don't know if you hit start, will this one just... Won't do anything. Okay, I think so it, yeah. yeah. The down timer, you have to set something since it needs to have something to count down from, which makes sense. So let's just set it for, uh, we'll just set it for seven seconds. So you would just put that in, again, hit your same button to enter the value, and then uh, we'll hit start. And this one's default is going to be to uh, beep. So the buzz is pretty loud and it's a three second. There it is. As okay. you can see, that'll definitely get your attention. So that's how the down timer works. And then if you were going to reset on the down timer as well, you would, um, and then hit it again, hit it again. Right. And, and then, then wonder why that didn't. Okay, so well, go do it again. I'm sorry. I, no, no, I got good. involved. No, 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 that's fine. I think that I'm, yeah. So um, countdown timer, right? Right, yes. So this, since it goes to the last value, we still have seconds or seven seconds on the down timer. So we'll, just kidding. We don't have anything on the down timer right now. I, um, yeah. So we'll just put in uh, nine seconds here and then you would hit enter again and start. But if you wanted to reset it, you could hit stop and then you can't reset it from here since it's in pause, but you would go over to the, um, or, no, you can reset it, excuse me. You can reset it from there. And then if you wanted it to go to zero, you would just put in zero and then you could reset it to whatever another you want value from of there. some sort. Yes. Yeah. Um, yes. And then, so that's. And then, then you were explaining. I don't know if you explained the different, fun, you know, the end of period functions and the beeps and the that quiet, you know, none, whatever. Right. Yes. Let me go through that. That's a good point. So if we want to um, change, let's just say we want to change it to um, this one is beeps automatically when it uh, goes down, the down timer does, but so that since it uh, flashed three times, that would be the flash setting. Just the one beep means that it's not going to do anything when it reaches your up timer or your down value. And then you, the three beeps will indicate that it is going to make that loud three second beep when you finish mm -hmm. um, whatever function it is doing. Okay. Also, the, I noticed that it beeps every time you push a button. Is there a way to eliminate that? Yes, absolutely. If you uh, don't want that to be the case, then you can just hit quiet mode on the remote. And as you can see now, let me go. When we go to our uh, um, when we go to our like set value and enter, it's not going to make any sound. And that way, if you need it to be more discreet while you're in um, a meeting or something, as long as you don't press the wrong button, then well, it you won't. pushed you pushed start, and it was already at zero, so it yelled at I us. I did. Yes, yeah. that is why it got angry. But uh, as long okay. as you avoid that, then the the quiet mode will just control um, whether they yes, beep whether. or whether it beeps. Uh, mm -hmm. But still, the the tone goes off at the end of period, right? Yes, that's correct. The only way to change that is to put it in the none, none setting. None. Yes. All right, so let's say, let's take them through one more time, the threshold setting of the count up timer. And right. let's say they want to talk for 30 seconds or whatnot. How would Absolutely. you go about doing that? 
Okay, so we'll go in and make sure we're in our up timer as we can see here. And then we will hit our set value and enter. It's flashing, so it's ready for us to put in a um, value. So we'll put in 30 seconds and then hit that again to enter it. And now it's just ready to start. And we want it to flash. And we want it to flash. So it is set automatically on the flash. But I don't um, know where we set it last time we yes. went through it. But yeah. if you're not sure, then we'll just go. That is the none setting. There's our buzzer. So this would be, we made sure that it's in flash when we uh, get to that. Okay. So, so we just put, start push it. start and then they talk for 30 seconds or whatnot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, can we blank the display you said? Yes. Can we do it right now and see what happens? So, and then if you turn it back on, obviously it just continues to go. Now, can we go to clock mode? Okay. And then back to... So we wanted to see what time it was. Right, I think we timer would hit our there yeah, timer. There it is. <laughs> so you went to clock mode and you mm -hmm. changed it from the format. And then now it's, yes. they're done talking like I'm done talking. Mm -hmm. And then uh, and then when they're done, you just push stop. Now, if you hit reset, it'll contain continue to have that 30 second threshold, right? So if we hit three reset, right? Yes. And you hit start again. That yes. next person's got 30 seconds and yep. it'll flash. So you can do that all day long, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, okay. yeah. And then this controller, you can put it pretty much have it anywhere, right? Within the building, basically. Yes, as long if, as it has that, uh, like as long as it's connected to an outlet, yeah. Right, so you got that blue light that's, that, that shows and that you gotta make sure that's on and your antenna's on. Everything's plugged in, obviously. Um, but obviously you want to be within range of or seeing the displays so you can see what function you're you're in so, right yes okay. yeah anything else on this that you want to talk about i think that pretty much covers everything um yeah we've seen how our up timer and down timer work how we can set our clock function um how to reset how to do the basic timer um, our blank display, the quiet mode, and then the three settings that it can be in. So it's really very versatile, yeah. pretty easy to use. And you can go really quick with it too, right? I mean, you can, you can put, put numbers in and get going pretty fast with the keypad. Yes, and it absolutely. sets down on the desk, right? It just lays down flat. Mm -hmm. and, and if you want to just lay it down and, and work with it that way, you could too. But she's just showing us the keys and whatnot. Right, yes, so. yeah. All right, well, very good. Thanks, Claire. So this is Claire and Jim with DC Digital, and we're demonstrating the DC40 UTW-Key-System-W. And the System-W is something that we can do with any one of our uh, displays. We can make them into systems. And uh, we, we, we custom make a lot of products around here. And this is one of the ones that was requested here recently that they wanted to quickly change modes. They wanted to uh, d display what's being, uh, how long the person's talking in the council chambers so that everybody can see it, even those in the audience. So that's why we have this system set up. Again, this is Claire and Jim with DC Digital, and thank you so much for watching.